Hello viewers, this is Too Fast here. Did you know if you own a Honda vehicle equipped with a Garmin navigation system, you can get free map updates for up to 5 years at no cost. In this video, I'll show you how to update your Garmin navigation system for free. So stay tuned. Now before I begin, let me tell you why you should take advantage of this free map update for your navigation system. Many other car manufacturers will charge you a lot of money for map updates every year. This can be in the range of two, three hundred dollars. Now with the Honda Garmin navigation system, they're giving you free updates for up to five years. If you want to see if your vehicle is eligible for this update, go to the website honda.garmin.com slash honda. Here you can select the year and model of your car. I have a 2019 Honda Odyssey, so I'll select 2019. And the Odyssey is listed. Now before I select that, take a quick look on the right side. It tells you in order for you to do this update, you will need a 16 gigabyte USB drive, internet connection, and up to four hours of time to update the system. So make sure you're aware of that before you begin. Now I'll select my vehicle, which is a Honda Odyssey. On this Garmin support page, it mentions you cannot use the same map download for multiple Honda navigation systems. So each download is specific to the vehicle you're updating. I'll select my vehicle, Honda Odyssey, 2018 and newer. Here are the instructions you need to follow. Now this is the first time I'm doing the navigation upgrade on my Honda Odyssey. So I'm going to go through each step with you. And if I encounter any problem, I'll let you know. To do this update, you'll need a 16 gigabyte USB flash drive. Now they don't recommend that you use a smaller or larger flash drive. If you don't have one, you can buy a 16 gigabyte USB flash drive for $6-$7. You also need a high-speed internet connection on your computer so you can download the map update. The total update time including download time and updating the navigation system in the vehicle can be up to 4 hours. So right now I have my 16 gigabyte USB flash drive plugged into the USB port on my computer. The first thing you need to do is format the USB flash drive. I'll select format and you have to format it FAT32. Here it tells you to take the flash drive to your vehicle, plug into the USB port, start your vehicle, and go to your Garmin navigation app, then go into settings, and select map and vehicle. Then select map updates, and start update process. So let's do that right now. Here I'll plug the USB flash drive into the vehicle. Now start the car. Select navigation, select menu, settings, map and vehicle, scroll down, map updates, start update process. Here it tells you the information about the navigation system was written to the USB drive. Remove the USB drive and go to the website honda.garmin.com slash honda to continue the update process. Press OK. Turn off the vehicle and remove the USB drive. So I've plugged the USB flash drive into my computer. Back on the Garmin update website. Let's continue with the next step. You need to install Garmin Express software. I'm going to select how do I install Garmin Express. To install the software, choose your operating system. I'm running Windows. Step 2, download for Windows. After the download, install Garmin Express. Now launch Garmin Express, get started. So here I have the instructions on the left side and the software on the right side. Select add a device, it has found my USB drive and identify the serial number of the Honda vehicle. Select add device. You can enter your email to register this device. You can set up a nickname. Next, map update available, select install, select continue. As you can see, the download speed is very slow. It's showing 1.9 megabit per second, and the estimated time is three hours. I'm not sure why their server is so slow, but this is something you want to keep in mind when you're doing this. The installation is complete, and that took two hours. Now before I take this to the vehicle, let me show you the files on the USB drive. As you can see, the total file size is 9.23 gigabyte, and there's about five gigabyte of free space. 
Now remove the USB drive from the computer, go back to the vehicle, and plug the USB drive into the vehicle. Here I inserted the USB drive. Start the vehicle. Select menu. Settings. Map and vehicle. Scroll down to map updates. Start update process. Here it tells you the update process can take a long time. Do not turn off the vehicle or remove the USB device. The current map is version 2018.10 and the new version is 2021.10. Install. This message just came up. Navigation isn't responding. Do you want to close it? I'm going to select wait. After a couple of minutes, the same message came up. This time I'm going to press OK. Let's go back into navigation. Okay, now it looks like it's doing the actual update. So if you run into this, you'll know to select OK in the previous window, and then the update will start. It took about 15 minutes to get to 50%. So it took a total of 28 minutes for the update to complete. Now it tells you to remove the USB drive, and then select Restart. So right now I'm going to remove the USB flash drive. Press Restart. To check the version you have, Press Menu, Settings, Map and Vehicle, My Maps. Now you see the map version for North America is 2021, version 1.0. And that's it. This is how you update the Garmin navigation system on your Honda vehicle. So for those of you who own a Honda vehicle with a Garmin navigation system, I hope you found this video to be helpful. I know there are other videos on YouTube talking about the upgrade, but they never show you all the steps. So I hope this gives you a good idea of what's involved. If you have any questions or comments, Leave one in the comment section. Thank you for watching. Thank you for watching this video. To support this channel, remember to click on a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and turn on the notification bell so you get notified of new videos.